Welcome to Suave Paws Doggy Taylor. I am so pleased and honored that you have chosen my shop to design for you some signature pieces. Yes, for your, was it next year's? Credit Porte collection. I can assure you, you have come to the right place because my clothing and accessory designs have been featured in the pages of Doke, Vanity Fur, and worn by celebrities such as Bark Wahlberg, Fleas Witherspoon, and Kim Kardashian Afghan. Now you mentioned that you would like each of the designs I create for you, you want them to all have a trouser element and I commend that choice, but I, I'm afraid I have a rather delicate question I have to put forth to you. And the reason why I'm asking is because I have made assumptions before, and they were the wrong assumptions, and the outcome was, uh. So, when you say trouser, do you have in mind style A? or style B. And do take a moment to think about it because uh, once I get started on a certain style, I can't really switch it to the other one. I would have to start all over again. So uh, which style did you have in mind? <gasps> Thank you so much. <laughs> Now I would like to show you the tools I use when I draw up my designs. Here's some of them right here. This is not everything. Feel free to inspect. I use the highest of quality. But I have here some colored pencils. I have some ink pens. I have markers. These are brush pens for when I want to do watercolor stains. I think for my first design for you, I want to do a, a modern take on a heritage design because I think you can pull it off really, really well. And to help you visualize yourself in these designs, I'm actually going to sketch you in the designs so that you can better visualize yourself wearing these these concepts. So if you would look that way for me. Oh, that's perfect. Just like that. That's perfect. Oh, yes. You have quite a noble profile. Has anyone ever told you that? I bet everybody, right? Go. Okay. I want to make sure I get your eyeballs the same size. Feel free to take a load off. Get your ear right there. I really hope you like this one. It's turning out pretty good, I think. You look really good in it. There we go. In this design, I have you serving up some courtroom drama realness. This heritage design is a modern take on the three-piece suit that was made very popular during the 20th century. But how I've made it modern was I've given it a more contemporary silhouette, more of a slim fit 
through the chest and the waist and a slim straight pant, ending with a leather shoe that can either be in a black or brown. And of course, we've got to give you a power tie with this suit. This suit means all business. And I don't know why I have you sitting on a stool. So you can pick really any fabric or design that you wish. And for springtime, we can do a lighter, a lighter fabric if you want to. Now, of course, it goes without saying, we're not gonna use herringbone or hound's tooth <laughs> because that would be too easy. We mean to slay, not to cliche. So what do you think? All right. I'm so glad you like it. I'm very happy with it as well. So what I'm going to do is post it on my job board. You can sniff that if you want. And this stuff leaves no residue. And it comes off really easy when I need it to. So I'll pop that right there. What do you say? So shall we move on to our next design? Now I think you've mentioned before that you can of course see in shades of gray, um, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, ultra gray, as well as shades of blue and green. Is that right? Okay. Move this pocket here. Do you wear a wristwatch? Well, you are now. Okay, then it's right this way, going down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's color that in now. Look at that color. What do you think of that? Oh, this is fabulous. This is coming together so well. Mm -hmm. Let's put some vibrancy in the background to make this sketch stand out more. You want to see this next one now? Okay, check this out, check this out. Voila! Here, I have a fun pistachio color story that we're telling here with this particular outfit. It looks very lively and vibrant, I think. Um, the shirt to me reads pink. To you, you might see the shirt as light gray with a true light gray tie. Here, I have the pant cuffed. We've uh, gone ahead and gone with a two button leisure jacket with side pockets. And over here, I have just a minor detail, your initials J for Jack. What do you think? Okay, thank you so much. I, I think you've made a wise decision. I will certainly be looking to work on, looking forward to working on that one. There we go. Okay, what do you say we step down in dressiness and we go with some streetwear? Mm -hmm. We can't do a 
paw very well. Let's just hide that. Yeah, that's... I took a nighttime art course at the community college and this week we're um, working on vanishing points. I have you casually leaning up against a background that has a vanishing point. And in this ensemble, you are wearing glasses. Notice I put your hands, excuse me, your paws in your pockets because I'm not very good at drawing paws yet. So this was a total cop out, I admit. Um, the pant I have you wearing is a plaid pant in a relaxed fit with a casual shoe. And the jacket is in a bold, vibrant color blocking. Um, the jacket, of course, we can have made from all weather material. And the benefit to you of having a jacket made of all weather material is you can go outside in inclement weather and you don't have to worry about the wet dog smell. Full of pluses. So, what do you think? All right, I'm glad you're happy with it. Let me post this one as well. cover up Kim Kardashian Afghan. For our final piece, I think I should cut loose and have a little bit of fun. So, something sassy and maybe a little more avant-garde. You mentioned to me that you have uh, some insecurities about your short legs and your lack of height. So I think in this concept, I can address that for you. Let's see, do I need to add anything else to this one? No, one more detail and it will be ruined. I think I should stop. What do you think? Here I have you wearing a drop necked t-shirt in a light color paired with a swingy, drapey, navy colored gaucho style culotte. And uh, to help you with your issues about your short legs and your lack of height, I have paired this ensemble with a platform loafer. What do you think? Are you feeling it? I'm sensing some resistance. Maybe, maybe you just need a moment to really let it let yourself live in the outfit, in your mind. Hey. You don't like it, do you? Okay, we'll just table this one for now. Just put that one away. Have you considered some accessories or items to use as layering elements to your clothing. I can show you a few things that I have here, like this right here. This will look really lovely on you. This is a wonderful silk in 
bold, vibrant, fun colors. It's got flow to it. It's breezy. This will look great on you. Very, very dressy. Have you considered the classic Western bandana kerchief? I have some lovely examples here to show you. Have it in this style and color, and this one, and this one right over here. These have been pre-worn and broken in to give you that casual, lived-in look. I think the Western style bandana is a staple that every dog should have in their wardrobe because it makes you look jaunty and approachable. I'm a dog of the people. Let's see how this looks on you. You're already wearing some yellow, so I can already tell this is gonna be your color. You look wonderful in what you're wearing now. Ah, uh, yes. I like it. What this one says to me when you're wearing it, this one says, I'm up for a game of Frisbee. And it also brings out the color of your eyes. And I have this lovely number in a wonderful medium to dark blue. And this one really brings out your complexion. This one says to me, I am loyal and reliable. In fact, I don't just give handshakes, I give the highest of fives. Okay, moving on. This one. This one says, I am bold and assertive. I don't let anybody walk all over me. In fact, I'm going to march into the next room and I'm going to take back my little bed from the cat. Yeah? So now that we have your designs sketched out and we have some ideas of accessories, I do need to take your measurements so that I can start ordering the fabric and cutting, okay? And just relax, I'll work around you. Okay. Start with your neck. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Let's get around your waist. Pardon me. I think I've gotten everything I need. I'll just set this right over here. Well, I have your measurements and your concepts sketched out. So thank you very much, sir, for stopping in today. And I'll go ahead and get to work on your designs and get that fabric ordered for you. I want to thank you very much for choosing to do business with Suave Paws Doggy Taylor, sir. I really appreciate your business and you enjoy the rest of your day, okay? You did such a good job. Do you want a treat? Okay. Can you sit for me? Can you such a good boy?
were you willing to treat? Here we go. 